What are tidally locked space objects and why do they exist? Let's take a look at some mountain space to learn more about this. Tidal locking occurs when one of a pair of co-orbiting astronomical bodies reaches a state where there's no longer any net change in its rotation. See, this happens in a rate over the course of a complete orbit, you know. Let's take a look at how this happens in the rest of the show. Shortly after the moon's formation in the ancient past, the moon was rapidly spinning so very fast that meant the part of the moon ball chain towards the earth was constantly changing like water tides on earth through gravity's force vast amounts of rock needed to change shape and shift to eventually bulge towards the earth like this but once those bulges settled in a way towards the earth just a bit out of alignment with earth's pull of gravity of course these bulges act Once they were held, they were torqued back into place and behold The moon's rotation slowed over time, this new speed it did adopt Now the moon is facing the earth forever tidally locked The sides of the moon bulge outward pointing towards the earth and away While the other sides are pulled inward to compensate This means the moon isn't actually round like you thought it was It is shaped like a football and now you know the cause Did you know that all major moons of the planet Jupiter are tidally locked of this, I am sure. Europa, Io, Callisto, and Ganymede are the moons of Jupiter tidally locked. Now you see, Saturn's moons are also tidally locked to it. There are 16 of them in this position they sit. Dwarf planet Pluto and its largest satellite Charon have the same surfaces facing each other as their orbit spins on. Their Phenomenon is called mutual tidal locking. The solar system's only known double planetary system. I do sing. When looking at Mars, the third planet from the sun, we will see Phobos and Deimos will be tidally locked eternally. What are tidally locked space objects and why do they exist? Let's take a look at some mountain space to learn more.